This is HGT 119, electricity 2, motor controls. This is week 15, and we'll be covering troubleshooting HVAC and refrigeration systems. This week assignment will support the HVAC learner to troubleshoot heating system controls, troubleshoot air conditioning controls and systems, troubleshoot refrigeration controls and systems, troubleshoot thermostats, troubleshoot pressure controls, troubleshoot limit controls, troubleshoot safety controls, troubleshoot contactors and relays, and troubleshoot switches. When this introduction we talked about earlier last week about um, controls itself, how to troubleshoot it, but this week we want to get into systems. So in troubleshooting HVC systems it's a necessary component of a technician daily job. When there is a problem with an HVAC system, the problem can be anywhere in the system, but it takes the specific knowledge and skills to pinpoint the issue to make the necessary repairs. It will take a competent and skilled technician to troubleshoot a system in a reasonable amount of time. Therefore, knowing how to use the correct tools, having the technical knowledge, and having the craftsman slash mechanical skills to complete the job is critical. The first step in troubleshooting is having the technician to learn how to use the critical thinking skills to evaluate what at hand and eliminate unnecessary information which can confuse the problem. After that point, testing and verifying the problem can help pinpoint the problem and not the source of the problem. Diagnosing the problem and making the repairs is the final step in the troubleshooting process, but not having craftsman skills, the problem can reoccur because of poor installation. Consequently, a technician must be well-rounded in both technical and mechanical skills. The terms that the learner need to research this week is troubleshooting, craftsmanship, test equipment, voltmeter, amp meter, and ohmmeter. Current flows through the human body can be deadly, therefore precautions should be taken to decrease the likelihood of an electrical hazard. If small amounts of current flows through the heart, it could stop the heart from beating. With that in mind, a person must keep the body insulated from having current from making contact to their body. Wearing special PPEs, personal protection equipment, can eliminate that or help slow that process down. So the combination of voltage and current through the human body can cause various types of issues from a small sensation to paralyzing the body. Using, of course, this PPEs, such as insulated work boots and shoes, wearing clothing that to protect the skin, safety glasses, ear protection, and many other things will uh, aid the uh, technician to understand the safety and how critical it will be to the body if they did not. So using other type of things, we talked about it last week, talking about uh, the purpose of the, using this type of equipment, PPEs, but it is important to understand that it must be worn at all times. Even though um, it may not be as comfortable as we may want it to be, but it's getting better. And they manufacturing and making uh, products for us to use that are becoming more comfortable to wear. Lockout tagout is the process of protecting the equipment and mostly the person who is working on the equipment. In many job sites, there might be multiple trades working on uh, a piece of equipment, and each person must be um, dedicated to their own safety. So everyone on the job or on a piece of equipment must have a lock and tag out the equipment for themselves. Not someone else doing it for them, but they are doing it for themselves. So a lot of times they will have a multiple HASP connection 
where all the trade men's can lock out and put their own lock on that piece of equipment. So looking at areas where uh, problems can occur, anything that electricity is connected to, it must be uh, understanding that it can be a hazard. And so uh, protecting themselves from the power and looking for anything that is connected to a power source need to be considered that it can be unsafe so taking your time using the right tools the right type of safety uh, equipment to be able to protect them from being grounded to the uh, electrical equipment so troubleshooting is a process of understanding and analyzing and problem solving and actually troubleshooting is a process of critical thinking and without this critical thinking skill, technic technicians will have a problem of diagnosing equipment. It's just not looking at the uh, a problem and then replacing a part, but to analyze the problem and determine what caused it to have that problem. And so it's a process. And it takes some time, uh, years to become very competent of troubleshooting because of all the different variables that can happen. So therefore, critical thinking skills is what troubleshooting is all about. So critical thinking or working through uh, problems or service problems, it's not magical thinking or it's not just uh, casually looking at a problem that occurred or trying to look at things that happened in the past and to draw correlations between those um, issues that happened in the past but uh, actually to take information and to uh, such as temperatures and pressures and, or how things sound or using your senses to, to be able to determine uh, the problem and really using critical thinking and putting everything together and to come to a uh, conclusion. So this is a skill that may take years to develop. And a good technician always will try to develop their uh, skill of seeing things differently every job they come to. Not just because they had the same issue last week, but because this week's problem might be something else causing it to happen and to determine the issue. So understanding the sequence of operation of a refrigeration or HVAC system is the first step in troubleshooting. Knowing how it's supposed to work, that is the sequence of operation. Knowing how it's supposed to work when it is normal. Of course, when there's a problem, the system is abnormal. So knowing how to read electrical diagrams will aid the technician to work through electrical problems. Using the tools such as uh, voltmeters or amp meters or even thermometers and other type of uh, um, test equipment will help give the technician the skills or knowledge to make a logical decision of what the problem is. So even though going through and, and, and looking at troubleshooting and going through uh, the knowledge of the equipment itself, the technician just cannot stop there but to verify everything that he checked. So a voltmeter is used to measure the supply voltage and of course it can be used for other things too. But just to know what the voltage, to make sure that the voltage is not too high or too low that is supplied through equipment. So the, basically the voltmeter is a test equipment that's used to uh, knowing that the supply is correct. Manufacturers also, for their equipment, will use uh, manufacturer flow charts or uh, troubleshooting charts to help diagnose the problem. Of course, this will aid the technician. So to help the HVC and refrigeration technician understand complex issues with HVC equipment, manufacturers develop flow charts to aid the technician in the troubleshooting process. The equipment may have indicator lights on the circuit board that will flash and give an indication of 
possible problems and issues with the uh, equipment by reading the number of flashes from the circuit board and looking up the information from a chart the technician can start the troubleshooting process also the manufacturer may use a flow chart that will take the technician step by step to locate system issues based on the symptoms when arriving on a job site a technician can learn a lot about the equipment and the problem by asking questions from the customer however understanding about asking the right questions and analyzing what the customer has to say and knowing that some of the information may not be helpful a customer can lead a technician down the wrong road if not careful so it does take skills to ask the right questions to help lead to the problem I truly believe the best tool any technician can have is his and her own senses what the technician sees hears smells feels is just as important as the tools they will bring out of their toolbox using your senses is analyzing the physical system for abnormal issues with experience a technician will learn the what where how and when the physical operation of HVAC refrigeration equipment to troubleshoot a system is an art and is also a science because craftsmanship is an art and craftsmanship skills is developed over time by uh, working with other skilled workers to learn best practices but it's also a science because it is technical and you will use the science behind it to help understand what to look for and what not to be concerned with breaking the system into smaller systems issues will help the technician to focus on the real issue and not on things that may not be concerned of the system operation once the technician is, has broke the system and, and problems down to the problem at hand everything that is not of concern will be left alone and should be left alone and the focus will be put on the problem for example if a technician found a condenser unit for air conditioning system not operating and he or she push in the contact or contacts and the condenser unit started up the technician should understand that the problem is not with the line voltage and the problem is possibly is in the control circuit so looking at the control circuit and the controls in that circuit will be the task at hand by moving the system step by step and eliminating the things that is at no concern the technician can move closer to the real issues once the technician believes he or she found the problem the technician must test the problem with meters to verify the issue one of the most difficult things for a HVC and refrigeration technician to learn is how to eliminate unnecessary information and concentrating on the task at hand where the problem stop is where to start looking for solutions using critical thinking skills is imperative for understanding the equipment sequence interpreting electrical diagrams and focusing on the correct system problem is how good technicians become better with practice and developing the skills needed can lead to growth in a technician's career and this should be the goal of all technicians so a journeyman HVC technician will in time become a craftsman craftsman skills comes from learning from other craftsmen 
best practices of how to handle and not only the tools but the process of doing a job. The difference between craftsman skills and mechanical skills is that mechanical skills rely on changing all components and the equipment will operate. Conversely, craftsman skills is the process of replacing the correct component and looking for the best way to install the component as well as the manufacturer designed it or better. Both skills are needed, but it takes time and effort to develop both skills. Mechanical skills come from working with the tools and learning the proper procedures of using the right tool for the right job. The more a technician uses all the tools for their fill of work, they will become more comfortable of handling the tools with less stress and effort. Therefore, competitive use is the answer for developing mechanical skills. Using the right tool, the right process of troubleshooting, and the right diagnostic progression, a technician will feel comfortable of making a decision of replacing defective components. In the beginning, the most new technicians will second-guess themselves, but with practice and determination, increased skills and in troubleshooting will occur. Starting the system up and checking the sequence of operation is critical for knowing that the system is operating correctly and the right components was replaced. Without checking a operation of the system, the technician is only guessing if he or she made the correct decision. To summarize this week's assignments and presentation, troubleshooting is an art as well as a science. Therefore, troubleshooting is a logical process, but it takes time to develop the skills needed to analyze problems. A technician must develop critical thinking skills to be competent in diagnosing HVAC refrigeration systems. A HVAC refrigeration technician must understand how a HVAC refrigeration system components operates. A technician should have a working knowledge of both controls and controlled devices. A technician needs to know how to properly use test equipment and tools when using a voltmeter to check open circuits, when the switch is in the closed position, the voltmeter will read zero volts. When using a voltmeter to check open circuits, when the switch is in the open position, the voltmeter will read whatever the applied voltage is. All meters can be used to check the four open circuits. However, the voltage to the system must be turned off to the meter to keep from damaging the meter.